Here we go then, my first iRacing races in the rain. If you wanna get my first impressions of the handling in the rain, make sure to check out the previous video. But in this one, we're gonna be going racing. And I tell you what, spoilers, it is absolute carnage and I love every second of it. Let's get into it. Here we go then on the grid for my first ever iRacing wet race. Let's go out straight away then as we get underway. Pretty decent start for us. We get squeezed right into the pit wall by someone coming over. Probably not realizing we were there. Match just about squeezed through though. As you can see, it is a multi-class race. We didn't qualify. We started ahead behind uh, F4s and uh, Formula 4 1600s. And we're in the Super Formula Lights. So lots, lots of different cards in this field. As we go off the track straight away, the spray completely blocking our view there. We couldn't see where the edge of the track was. And uh, we've got another uh, Super Formula car up our inside. We go nice and deep there. Try to find the grip, but actually that's probably a bit overkill uh, to be honest. But yes, Snetterton is not an easy track to drive around. As you're about to see, somebody spins there. I think touched the curb, spun around backwards, absolutely nails another car, and they're both off. We managed to sneak through, though. That corner is difficult at the best of times uh, around Snetterton, so in the wet, it's going to be almost impossible. As we look in the mirror, and once again, we see the exact same thing in the exact same corner. As I said, that is going to be a theme. Someone else skidding off there, straight into the wall. It really is just like that. That's exactly how it is. Uh, and at least this was day one. This was literally only maybe an hour after we were able to get in. So let's go in deep there. Once again, straight off. And in the mirror, straight off. We were literally in the middle there. We somehow survived it just about. But we're up to P3 now. Having started way at the back and got off a little bit. But we're all up to P3. That's just in our class. These are, of course, lap cars coming up against now. So able to go past those guys. Very comfortably. That guy wants to get to get off. Someone else going off into the, I mean, shrubs over there. Absolutely flying off. We're still P3, though, for now. But just trying to keep it consistent. Trying not to make mistakes. As you can see, it's very easy. We go a little bit deep there. We do manage to get it stopped just about. And uh, still a P3 for now. But there's a bit of a crash in front of the looks of it. That is four position. The yellow car is going to be four position here. But I think he's got some damage. So we're going to try and go on the outside of him. Maybe a bit risky. But yeah, we decided to go for it with a bit more grip than he is around the outside. So we get the move done up to P2. Yeah, yeah, you can see the mirror. He's got no wings. He's going to be a little bit slow. So we managed to sneak past him quite successfully. And this is the leader of the Formula 4 class. We go past him. Nice and comfy as well. Oh, a bit of a slide there. That's just showing the lack of grip. And we go straight off, actually, straight around the outside of that Formula 4 car. We still get the move down in the wet. But uh, and another spinner here. Another spinner. He actually, yeah, ends up backwards. Goes off into the grass. And he is gone. Another Formula 4 to overtake just in front. Am I going to go for it? I am. Oh, that was risky. Even in the, uh, the post-commentary, that felt a bit risky. But I do manage to make it work. And I now lead the class. I now lead the class. All the whoopsies. And we do manage to take the win in our very first ever iRacing wet race. Can you believe that? Without qualifying, just by keeping you on track, we managed to take the win. This was the carnage of day one of the wet racing. I think it will calm down over time, but it is what it is right now. So this is us trying to disallow our lap for the next race. This is a uh, GT3 race around Portimao. Portimao, a new circuit to the to this season as well as the weather. And uh, we tried to disallow. We actually failed, but look how slippy it was on that tarmac. We had, oh, on, on the paint, sorry. We had absolutely no chance to hold that. But uh, anyway, we decided we opt for a pit lane start here just to keep things interesting. So we actually qualified P2, but I didn't want to start P2. I wanted to keep things interesting and start from the back. So we instantly drop back to the field there. Just go on my outlap, and I see I instantly spin on that apex. There is no grip there. Cold tires contributing to that, sure, but there was no grip. So not only if we start on the pit lane, we've also put it on extra hard mode now by bidding ourselves all the way to the back. I believe a P16 as it stands. Uh, no, sorry, there's 22 people in the lobby, but I don't think everyone turned up. So I think we are 16th. So we're going to have to take it super cautious now for the rest of the lap. Look how wet it is. Look at the spray in the mirror. Much west than the last race. If someone's had a spin in front, we'll try and sneak past that person. But look at the complete lack of grip. And the spray. It's absolutely ridiculous when you get fully sprayed. That person's gone off. We're going to try and go on his outside, are we? Yes, we are. We're going to go for it around the outside. And look, <laughs> look at what's happening in front. There's four cars all in the bin. So uh, we sneak past those guys, and despite us being lap one, and we started the pit lane with a spin, as someone else goes off there, we're going to end this lap. Let's see what position we're going to be in. And someone else spinning in front. We're not going to get him uh, for that lap. P9, make that P8 with the other spinning car, and he dives across the track and managed to avoid him. Absolute carnage. Up to P8 at the start of lap two. Unbelievable. We send it on that Mercedes there. Get a nice across from the poor spins across the apex. Managed to avoid the Ferrari front just about, but the Ferrari's off. Can we get a better exit than him? I don't think so. Yeah, he's on the tarmac over there. He's going to have to come across the paint, but he's okay. And uh, oh, that Porsche behind almost hits us, but he does just about avoid us. No idea what position we're in now. It's changing far too frequently, but we're just trying to find the grip here. You can see this shiny surface on the inside has very little grip, so we just try to avoid that the best we can. Try to get better exit here than the Ferrari, which we managed to do. Bit of a spin there as we come over the crest, but we do get that move done. He was P6 at the start of the lap. I think we're P5 now, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong on that. Uh, but yeah, we'll find out at the end of the lap. But anyway, let's just try and keep it clean here for now. Look at how quickly we're gaining on these guys around. It was just absolute carnage. Day one, 
was incredible. It was just complete carnage non-stop. And there, I mean, perfect example. They, they, both of those guys go off into the paint. There's no grip out there. So we gain up another position. I think this is up to P4. It might even be P3, you know. And that guy spins on the brakes straight across the apex of someone. He actually recovers it quite well, but he is on the paint. So hopefully we can get the exit on him. Yes, we can. There we go. So we were P4. We're now P3. Unbelievable. P3 on lap three. Having started on the pit lane with a spin. It's unbelievable. We just see we're just avoiding the dry line like the plague. I think with hindsight, we were a bit overkill with this. I think we could have taken a few more of the dry lines that we were doing. That guy pits. Oh, he was lapped anyway. Uh, I think we might gain a position that lap. Is just one position we gain. Yeah, so we're P3 now. P3 at the start of uh, lap four. And uh, what are we looking at here? I'm not actually sure. Someone having a whoopsie behind, maybe? Or is it just the map we're gaining? I've got no idea what we're looking at here. I'll be honest, chat. I haven't edited this, as you can tell. But uh, we are going to gain quite heavily on the cars in front. Oh, I think we're looking at the leader actually having a whoopsie. Leader had a whoopsie, and he's just off in the gravel there to the right-hand side. And uh, then P2 immediately follows him. Well, he was P1 briefly, but then he immediately follows him. And both of those guys both bottle it within the space of just a couple of minutes. And we end up taking the win. Simple as that. Starting with the pit lane. Lap one spin. And we take the win in only our second ever wet race. So that's the first two wet races, and we've won both of them. Unbelievable. So this was just a couple of races I did later at night after I went offline on my stream, hence the post commentary. But now we're going to get back onto the live stream highlights. So over to you, Alex. Here we go, guys. Not done a race starting the wet before. Green, green, green. What are you doing? Absolute. What, what is he doing? What was that all about? Okay, I can't see. Got hit. I got hit. Nobody hit me again. The FPS is bad. Somehow I didn't get hit other than that initial hit. Okay, well that's me starting from the back as I wanted to. The FPS is awful. I do need to sort it out. Oh my word. Less than 30 FPS. I've raced on that in a long time. I don't know if I can hit that or not. I'll not take the risk. I can't see anything. I can't see anything! Whoa! That was close! <laughs> that was close! Still there. Stay on the right. Keep to the right. Slow car ahead. Car stopped ahead. There's an incident ahead. Go to the left. Clear on the left. I love it so much. Whoa! Oh, you're breaking, buddy. Get off the wet line and don't break so early. Did I say the wet line? I say the dry line. No traction over there, so we get another position up to P9, I think. Oh, good. Yep. Go yep. Right. That sounds about right. There's about three positions gained there. Literally, stay out of trouble. I think I'll still be on the podium. Oh, I'd like to be able to see, ideally. Where he is? Where is he? Why about to smash his back of him? I've got no idea. Sneaking just. Okay, okay, okay. We're still moving forward. P5. Oh, man, the frame rate is not good. Whoa! That was about complaining. Instantly just had no grip all of a sudden. That doesn't normally happen. Oh, yeah. There they go. <laughs> Another cavalry literally just stay out of trouble. And the podium is guaranteed. Oh, it's incredible. Turn, car. Okay, I'm pushing too hard now. We're just going deep. This is going to cost me time. <laughs> Four, nine, fifty-six, three for leader. What? Everyone's got really slow in front. Look how much quicker I was last lap. We might be able to catch him on genuine pace here. We're only three seconds back for Peter. I think we might be able to win this race on pure pace if we can find a bit more time. And they keep doing laps like that. Oh, someone's leader's gone off. Gone on. Leader's gone off. That's it. Leader's gone. Oh, that was close. And the next car is four position for the win. Why does nobody know about the wet line? I don't understand. I don't feel like I'm doing better than I do in the drive. In fact, I feel like I'm doing worse than the drive. Everyone else is just terrible in the wet. Ah, I wanted to get a run on them here. A bit of a run, but I don't think it's enough. Yeah, you can see his lights just about. Oh, it's terrifying. Trying to race somebody this close with this much spray. Oh! I did actually hit him, tap him there. Still 
Okay, done. We're up to P1. We're up to P1. It's absolutely huge. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. I had literally had to accelerate off the track, otherwise he would have hit me there. He's just sending it in on the dry line. And I'm the challenge is to try and get away from him. I reckon I can do just here. Okay, you are the leader. You're there. Clear. Okay, we can do it now. I did a 50.4 despite battling people. I'm pretty sure the track is getting a bit better. I'm getting significantly faster lap on lap. Take the wet line, guys. Nobody knows about the wet line. How am I the only person on our race that knows that wet lines exist? Nice right. Let's go for a fast lap on this last lap. We've got a three second gap to P2 already. Let's go for fastest lap. Come on. You got a 47. Already. We're getting quite a lot quicker than that. Just by driving better, but also by the track drying up. Please don't hold me up. This is a good lap so far. He's in a slower car though. Should be the fly pattern on the straight. Right side. Why are you going straight? Hold your line. Clear. What the hell? I'm in a bit of a better car, but not that much better. That was so weird. Anyway, fast lap in the, in the mud, unfortunately. We, we actually already got the fastest lap. I can definitely go quite a bit quicker. There's a lot more grip now. And there we go. Three wet races. Three wins. I'm just the wet weather goat in iRacing. I won by seven seconds. I'm going to do a pit lane start for this one. Purely because we've also got the GR86 class, which... It's going to be fun because they'll all come through and I'll have to try and get past them. Okay, okay, okay. So we're... I think we're at the back bar one. So we've got a lot of toys to sixes to get through. Oh my god, that Ferrari's already bidding it. Are you okay? Oh, he's on the, he's on the wet line, but I can't get to it. She would have power passed him. There you go. Right, okay. FPS is bad again. This Ferrari ahead is nuts. He's going to crash. He's already binned somebody. It's not very fair, is it? Okay, someone's off. Just keep it clean is, is the entire goal. These, these, this Ferrari's going to crash somebody off in a minute. Pick a sweet... Hello? <laughs> this is the bigger side. Then when I was on the side, we just kept coming over. This is terrifying. This is... Ah! Okay, I think we're through most of the GOA6s now. Oh my god, wait. <laughs> There's one there! Okay, okay, okay. I think the leader might have spinned it. I think that is all the choice here six. Okay, that's the main traffic through now. Now, how long can we survive? And how much, how far, how much further up the order can we get? These guys are pretty quick. And I'm not normally a GT driver, so I'm not going to be especially fast in this car. And I haven't done main races on this track either. Whoa! <laughs> The carousel is not nice in the rain. It was fine in practice. I'm amazed there hasn't been more crashes. We're miles away as well from those other guys. 20 odd seconds away. Uh oh. Okay, there's the first whoopsie. See, I'm amazed more people haven't done that sort of thing more regularly. I mean, this is more what you expect the driving here from iRacing, but it's not what I've seen so far this week. Oh, God. Two in a row. Get off the grass. Two in a row. Oh, no. It's nothing good, bruv. Uh oh, it's quite bent as well, look. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, definitely a mistake starting the pit lane with hindsight. I thought it'd be way more caught at carnage. Okay, we're going to be... Okay, we are actually P10. I reckon if we can keep it clean still, we'll probably still get to the top. I don't know. We... In other races, I'd be saying we, we can still get a podium if we keep it clean. But in this one, I reckon we can maybe get top eight if we keep it clean. Oh, someone had to bend it. Enzo, the guy that's been aggressive with the GR86s, has binned it. Look, he's losing a load of time here. Um, no, I, don't, I think I don't know what Enzo did. Stop! Okay, that bit of tarmac there, and then we get it stopped. And this is to pull away from me again. His whoopsies. He's I think that's why. For some reason, I guess it's different to the Formula cars, isn't it? These, these GT cars are so robust. You can just keep going. Let me just see what my lap time is going to be compared to the guys at the front. Uh oh. I just had to go straight then. I was going to spin if I didn't. Oh, come on. What do you mean? Well, it's not great, but it's fine. It's perfectly drivable. Maybe the outside line's better here. No, it's not. <laughs> the outside line there is so bad because it's also off. Oh, come on. I couldn't have about that. 
I like the carnage of the wet. I've had carnage. No one else has had carnage. A few people have been in it here and there, but not many. Nothing like the other the other, the other classes. Oh, P5 just been in it as well. Look, he's, he's just gone behind me. Okay, people are starting to bin it now, finally. I definitely can get this. Oh, hello. That's the Enzo guy. Finally did fully bin it. So I've survived better than some people. I'm still going to be maybe top half of the field if I'm very lucky. Uh-oh. I just, I held the brakes there. Didn't want to hit the ball too hard, and I ended up hitting it pretty hard anyway. Uh-oh. Okay, we lost the back end, but I think we're okay. I think we can carry on for a bit. Very skaty now. I'm pretty sure we haven't got a rear wing. It's very skaty on the rear end, so we'll be really careful now. We've got to cruise to bring it home. Oh, it was two minutes off the pack and three laps. This is, this is, this is, this is normal. This, this is how it should be in the wet. Come on, I want to finish. I want to finish. So oh, no! Okay. I think we're okay. Oh, that was a mistake. I've released the brake too much. I thought it was going to spin. It just didn't. It just cruised straight into the wall. How many spins is that now? I've got 18x. That's a lot of spins now. Bring it home. Bring it home. Might feel like it's the end of an endurance race. It's the end of a three-lap race, for God's sake. Yep, car front got P5. I'm going to get P6 if I can just bring it home. In theory, I should get P6 regardless, but I don't know exactly how the iRacing system works. So I would like to properly bring it home. Oh, it says black flag where? Oh, yeah, underneath it, so it does. Yeah, I might get disqualified anyway because I haven't pit for my repairs. But anyway, we do somehow, I guess, survive. Can this be called surviving? We struggle through, and provided I don't get disqualified, this should be P6. There it is, P6. Absolutely huge. Incredible. Look at, look at that car. Look at the car. It's not okay, hun. Right, come on, guys. Final race of the stream. Final race of the episode. We've got to try and survive this the best we can. It's not going to be easy. This race will be mad once we get going, but let's do what we can. Come on. Green, green, green. I was, that was more collision avoiding than trying to go for a move. You're on the right. Three wide. Left side. Come on, get on with it. Still there. On the right, three wide. Car on your left. I can't go anywhere. Clear. Get on with it. You're in the middle, three wide. Clear on the left. Car on your left. There's an infinite ahead. Keep to the right. You're on the right, three wide. Oh, disconnected. Clear. Go right. I'm back. Left I'm back. Side. Stay on the right. Um, why hitting me? Right. Clear on the left. Okay, nice. We're still going. We're still going. We're still going. Okay. Okay. Very slow start, but we're underway. Now we can get going. Although, can't see a lot down this straight. Not gonna lie. <laughs> I can't see the corner. I don't know where I'm going. Whoa. Bit of a slide there. Hit a puddle. I need to get past this guy. I can't see, and he's a bit slow. Definitely quick in this guy, but not excessively so. He's gone. He's gone. I almost followed him. We survive. Right. Okay. Let's get going. There's such little grip, dude. I mean, it'll dry up a lot with all these cars running. I say dry up. That's the wrong word, but it'll get better. The conditions will improve. I think we're now P5. It's not too bad. <laughs> it's ridiculous. The spray is insane. It's so hard to race. This oh, that guy's pitting? Why is he pitting? Didn't really mean to send that there, but it was very early on the brakes. No, oh, too wide. I was trying to go on the outside there, but ended up on the curb. That's not the line. Up high and over me as well. Oh, he's gone off. He's going to spin onto the track. No, we're all good. We're through. Um, whoa, I wouldn't sure going to go over there or not. The car to the right of me. Pretty much the same exit as me. I'm sure if I was, yeah, it was the guy who just overtook off track. When he went off track. Good luck with the spray now, buddy. Good luck with the spray now. Yeah, leave us leave away. P3 now, I think. Yeah, not very that lap, but we are in traffic. Let's see if we can do this lap. Can't find suddenly sticking with me. Where's he got that pace from? Holding me up for. Now look at him. We're making a mistake in a minute. That's a lap car gone off. It's not a leader. Oh, the car behind's gone off. Told you we make a mistake at some point. Okay, it's a much better lap for me. This is about what I can do here. I'm still a couple of seconds lap off, then I'm a couple of seconds lap off. Pitting in front again. That was a decent lap. I'm happy with that one. 
48.6. What can I do? 49.7. So, yeah, about a second. Oh, that sounds about right to me. I was surprised when I was fast in the wet. I knew I, knew I wasn't the fastest, I'm just the most consistent in the wet. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. I mostly made it round somehow. Take the yield straight away because now I'll the way up. Oh, come on. Okay. Just tap the curb. I was lucky to only lose what I lost. Look how much better it is now. I, I, I love the track evolution. Absolutely crazy how much better it gets. Uh oh. Oh, not another yield. I've got away with that one. Here we can break on a dry line. Wow. How, how was that my fast lap of the session? That's just how much better the track is now. Uh oh. No, turn! No, not again! Uh oh. Stop! Stop! It's mental. That is crazy. You see that? I was so gentle on everything. Car behind for position. One, one, I'm going to have to let him go. That took so long to get out. <laughs> that was crazy. Oh, it's so easy to do, man. It just didn't turn. You see that? We just had no grip on the front all of a sudden. Oh, I honestly love it. I love that mistakes are properly punished. It's so good. You just cannot get it stopped. He's actually P3. This is still for a podium. If we can get him, we're still finished the same position that we would have done without that huge crash. Should be quick in a straight, but it's our racing, so we'll be slow in a straight. Yeah, can feel it. It's painful. I know it's treacherous, so I was being careful. It's just really hard. Okay, car in front is actually the leader of the F4 class. We're not going to get past down the straight, though, I don't think. So we'll jump that way there. Leading his class. Didn't want to get involved in a whoopsie. Uh, turn? Oh, God, that was the lack of front wing, I think. It's still a turn. Look at it. Look at it. That's what I'm up against. Car pipe went off. It's going to be P4 for us, guys. That's still not bad, all things considered. 18 people in my split. I'm still going to finish fourth with that about 30-plus second loss. Do it again, look. There's no grip. Why is there no grip? Okay, we've got to stop much more effectively on the grippier stuff that time. Front wing is partly why now, to be fair. Previously, it wasn't the front wing, though. I love how unpredictable these races are, man. Even my own driving is unpredictable. This makes it really fun. Well, there we go then, guys. That was iRacing Races in the Rain. And I absolutely love that. I love the unpredictability. It makes it so good and just so carnage. I just hope that people are actually going to race it now in the main official series when you can actually lose safety rating for spinning off and going off and crashing. Um, I'm a little bit worried it might be empty, but hopefully iRacing has already thought of that. But only time will tell. Anyway, guys, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.